Hello, everybody, and welcome back once more to Scarlet Hollow. I am the Outback Owl. I'm Yin and Young. I'm Chibi New. I'm Cece. And I'm Cozy. And we're talking with Tabby about, well, everything, really. We've got to figure out what's going on and what we're going to be doing for the rest of our time in this chapter. So, uh, we can talk about last night. We can talk about Stella. We can talk about uh, selling the mine, maybe. What are you guys' thoughts? I I don't think we should ask about Stella. She has enough going on already. Fair. Yeah. I feel, I don't know how much she's going to want to talk about what happened last night. So the easy one might be about selling the mine. Though that she might get defensive of. I don't know. I think, I think she's, she might get defensive of where would all these families go? Uh, well, whoever takes the mine from her. I mean, selling the mine doesn't mean you're shutting it down, necessarily. True. You're just making it someone else's problem and getting out. <laughs> we do not have to take any of these options. That's true. true. I mean, but well, these are things that can help give us a little bit more background on things. Can I throw out there? I feel like each of these is going to lead into a dialogue tree. We could at mm -hmm. least explore a little bit and yeah. see what we could talk about. We'll just see if, let's see if she wants to talk about what happened last night. If she wants to have a heart to heart, she might not. Okay. We'll see. All right, I mean, let's go with that. what does everyone else think? Yeah. That's not yeah. a terrible idea, and it could lead us into selling the mine anyway. <laughs> let's just get the fuck out of this town. <laughs> so go surreal. Still can't get over that. <laughs> Do you regret what happened last night? You should have let me take on on that burden for you. Why don't you let me protect you last night? I hope uh. other people in town finally start treating you better. I'm sorry about last night. We should have left. How are you holding up? You look good. Uh. So how are those extra years treating you? It feels good, no. doesn't it? Getting rid of something, something other our family left behind <clears throat> like that. It's like each one gets more and more insensitive in yeah. all these dialogue trees. <laughs> you look ill. Uh. I think we could ask about uh, why she didn't let us do it. Yeah, that's kind of where I was leaning to. This one? Yeah. Yeah. Why didn't you let me protect you last night? If our worlds were reversed, I'd be asking you the same question. I mean, that's fair. Fair, fair. I, I care about you, Shared Brain Cell. I don't care about many people. Oh! Damn. We came back from Dead Mom Club. <laughs> we really did. We, we really, really we did. We redeemed ourselves. I wasn't about to let you ruin your life over something you had nothing to do with. Oh, God, her but smile. She... Oh, we'll get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, she didn't have anything to do with it either. No, I mean, At least but, she yeah. knew the history and was in the area. We were completely estranged. I uh, hope other people in town that finally start treating one? you. Yeah. I'd like that, but the strike says otherwise. Yeah. I mean, if anything, um, like, she's at least still been involved with the town, so True. she probably feels she still has a hand in whatever's going on. Mm -hmm. I kind of like the first one. Yep, okay. we should talk about it a little bit. Can't really deny it now. So, um, ghosts are real. I still can't get over that. I can. <laughs> Fair point. <laughs> what does that actually change about anything? I was probably gonna <laughs> die young anyways, and I still won't bind to run. Oh, 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 oh. oh get this Get her to the fucking beach already. <laughs> Let's go on vacation. Uh, hope people in I, yeah, I hope people in town start treating you a little better. You 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 come off yeah. very mean, but you're a good person, I think. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah. I hope other people in town finally start treating you better. They've already made up their minds about me. Well then lock them in the mines and set it on fire. It Why is that your solution what? for everything? You can't do that. It doesn't matter what other people think, though. They don't know me. That's... 
I would avoid that last one. Yeah. I mean, how I mean, how is she holding up? Yeah. I mean, yeah, how is she doing? I feel like she's probably tired. How are you holding up? You look, um... Drop it, share brain cell. Dropping, Dropping it. Can. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Uh... Okay, okay, maybe we can click on it and just look through. I don't think it's gonna automatically take us. To which? Mm. Okay. This one, or this one? I eh, kinda wanna sell the mine. Let's get the fuck out of here. If the mine's in trouble, you should just sell it. And sell the estate. Get out while you still can. Oh. Dad with the bristles. No. Dead mom's club again. I'm not giving up like that. This is the scarlet mine. I'm not just gonna cash out on our family's legacy. I'm bringing the mine back to life one way or another. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, the legacy's not great. No. Like, no. maybe it's time to cash uh, out. We like, had uh, some shitty relatives. Child murder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Adult and murder. Sacrifice. Occult rituals. <laughs> tons and tons of bad shit. Like, let's, you know, legally you can change your name if you want. <laughs> yeah. We might yeah, after it... this. Shared brain cells, not a great name. No. <laughs> <laughs> what was our mom thinking? They weren't. <laughs> Uh, they were thinking point. this was not going to be a serious game. <laughs> no. Nope, we thought it was going to be something uh, fun and quick. Nope, it it gets ya. Um, we should ask about Stella. I, I get, we, we, uh, maybe. I mean, they did used to be close. True. Yeah, yeah but they don't communicate uh, now. True. true. We're, I mean, we're probably going to be, be the ones to try to like find Stella, so... Maybe um, don't push it too much more. Yeah, that's fair. Also, like, half of our problems are stemming from Stella. It's only a finder. Find, yes. Yeah, I guess she'd probably get going. You know, on that awkward note, you should probably head on out. <laughs> Can't wait to do the completely silent route. Yeah. Remain silent. Yeah. <laughs> I've done long enough. Stay safe. No more hijinks. Yes, mom. Oh. Can't promise that. Little hijinks? Just a little low jinx? <laughs> oh. Mm. Her face. But let me know oh. if you get in trouble, okay? Dude, okay. you're like literally gonna be our first call. You're the only person we know <laughs> with bail money. <laughs> no, she's just... <laughs> She's gonna come home and we'll be sitting in the entryway, now also like 40 something years old. Oh god. <laughs> like, so um. <laughs> so there were more ghosts. Apparently, Grit Gam Gam killed more people. <laughs> Tabitha slips past you, her heavy boots thudding down the hall as she marches away to face her employees. Time for you to god. figure out the rest of your day. Alright, let's Should go to the light shed. things up by talking to Fru Fru. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna go face those striking workers and they're gonna be like, holy shit, the stress we put on this woman. <laughs> yeah. Aged her like 30 years in a day. Hey, Fru, you've been letting people in the house and into our room? Should we talk to the cat? Yeah, yeah, we, we always talk, talk to, the, to cat. the cat. You walk over to the cat. Hi. Oh, c'est toi. Qu'est-ce que quelle beauté est-ce que vous montez? I missed you last night, Fru-Fru. Will, will you ever let me pet you? Do you know anything about the stone carvings scattered around town? Thanks for not attacking the possums who live in my drawer. Oh, wait, we should not tell them about them. No. Nod Don't respectfully to Fru-Fru. Let's start with a respectful nod. Yeah. That's a good respectful that feels nod. Safe. You nod respectfully to Fru-Fru. <laughs> so go back. <laughs> she scoffs, her tail twitching with annoyance, but you can sense she's less annoyed than she usually is. Maybe she's getting used to hate, to you. Oh, that little squish face is the face that Tobin makes at me whenever I try to smooch him. <laughs> He's like, nah, don't touch me. 
I kind of, I don't know if some of these dialogue moments are going to, like, remove others, so I really want to know if they know anything. Wouldn't the, like, the animals seem to know shit more than the humans do? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the dog knew what was going on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Gretchen sort of knows what's going on. Oh, yeah. It's like, uh, animal instinct, intuition, shit. Let's do this. Do you know anything about the stone carvings scattered around the town? Okay, that was a look of recognition. I'm not here to be your commandant, champ detective, je suis un chanté. I am here to watch the, your flail about in the darkness. Well, oh. it is a cat. <laughs> I am not here to provide answers to whatever mysteries confound your feeble American mind. Okay, okay Fru Fru, you are also American. Oh, didn't the cat come and lay on our bed last night? Maybe she did. I don't know. No, she did. No, I think I think it was two nights ago. Because I think that's why we're saying I missed you last night. We could say that. We could be like, we are softening to us. I missed you last night, Fru Fru. Is that to make one of us? You fout in your sleep. <laughs> you ever let us pet you? If anything I... bad ever happens to them, there will be oh. hell to pay. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. You think Tabby's going to miss oh, you? the red. <laughs> Let's be nice first. If they say never pet, and then we're going to threaten them. <laughs> Do you want me to yeah. task it? Yeah. Will you ever let me pet you? And cut my fur in your disgusting human oils. But well, what about Tabby? They... Well, they're probably not allowed to touch him either. Yeah, let's threaten him. Little bastard. Thanks for not attacking the opossums who live in my drawer. They're my friends, and if anything bad ever happened to them, there would be hell to pay. Of course you will consider those rats to be your friends. I will not dirty my clothes with your disease, the flesh. Okay, so Furfur wouldn't go near them anyway. Bye, <laughs> fr Fuck you, Furfur. <laughs> you turn away and leave Furfur be. Little bastard. Yeah, we gotta check it out. Oh, can we get to the greenhouse already? Whatever kicked out Dustin's mom is in the garden right now. You better look into it before you head out into town. Yeah. Ugh, creepy, creepy. Everyone look for ditchlings. The ditchling isn't going to do anything to us. Still, it's good to have a warning. The air is chilly today. The overcast sky hanging oppressively over the weed-choked flower bed. It's too cold. Head back inside. Investigate. We got to investigate the yeah. greenhouse. There's some kind of animal in there. Help Dustin. You start carefully picking your way through the underbrush. Okay. Doesn't take much effort to find a path. Cutting the... Oh, uh, cut... Bleh. Cuttings of prickly raspberry bushes and tangled vines litter the ground around the greenhouse. The glass house, one could say. Yeah, what would we be doing if we couldn't talk to animals? Nothing. Um, this would not be a thing, I don't think. Just saying. Nope. We wouldn't know a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. We might have picked the best option. Yeah. You step we towards the door. We might be friends with the mayor. No, we are, we are not definitely friends not. With the mayor. No. <laughs> if we didn't, if we couldn't talk to animals. Oh. Uh. Oh. Mm. Yep. oh. That's a goat. It's sealed shut by a lock, and you catch a brief glimpse of a horned shadow through the ancient clouded glass. Oh god, there's a goat in there, man. Street, smart. Street smarts! Wait, wait, should we examine for- mm. Oh, okay, I get- <laughs> When are people nope, going to sorry. learn that a mere lock can't keep you contained? <laughs> you pop it open with ease. We're just going for it. I know? love how oh. we be- I love reiterating that we became from? Ace Ventura. Street smarts and talking to animals. Alrighty then. A warm barnyard smell floods your senses as you stare down at the goat within. It stares back at you from its place on the tiled floor surrounded by dried herbs. What are there. you eating? Please tell me you're not a sacrifice of some kind. What are you eating? 
Blank tastes good. We get a new bag every day. All I can eat. That doesn't mean you can take any more. I'll beat you up, my plant. <laughs> I wasn't gonna take any of your plant. Attempt to force the goat out of the greenhouse. What's your name, little guy? What's your name, little guy? Goat. Goat. Okay. Oh my god, what if it's the goat from Goat Simulator? That's what oh I'm my worried god. about. Um. But you're free! Well, I think we have to untie them before we can do that. Uh, I, I think, where, where did they you? come from? Yeah, where'd you, where are you, where are you from, goat? Where did you come from? Bam! Used to live with other guys like me. Kinda miss them. But not that much. Don't gotta share anymore. What are you doing in here? What are you doing in the greenhouse? What are you doing in the greenhouse? Human put me here. Can't complain. Mm. Pretty sweet digs, honestly. Stays nice and warm. There's plenty of eats, too. Oh! Oops, put him in there. I'm telling you, I'm worried about, like, some sort of sacrifice to an eldritch god right now. What? I'm... Maybe Bo put the goat in our greenhouse? Yeah, just... Because the other goats were being eaten, weren't they? Yeah. But why our greenhouse has a lock? Untie the goat, attempt to force the Well, we shouldn't force the goat out. Maybe we're just split. Did oh, that human oh have a brown coat and big boots? It was Wayne. Oh, God. Did that human have a brown coat and big boots? Goat like what? Fur? Nah, not brown fur. Yellow oh, fur, just on top, like all you humans. Don't know what boots are, can't help you though. Hmm. Well, because I was thinking them like, they're the only farm family that we know of around here. True. Probably untie the goat and then say, you're free! I don't think he wants to leave. Also, that would put the goat in more danger. Hmm. Well, like, why is... Here. Well, Probably we because to... Tabitha said that he could put the goat in the greenhouse. Mm. Mm. Damn, what are we supposed to do now? Uh, what are other options? Okay, you know what? Maybe untie it. That way, if the ditchlings happen to get in, it can book it. That's okay, fair. That's fair. You unclip the rope trot tying the goat to the greenhouse. Hey, what do you think you're doing? That's my rope, put it back. <laughs> you're free, go on, <laughs> prance off into the wilderness. Nobody can keep you here any longer. Just leave. We can retie the goat <laughs> if we have to. That's true, we do have I'm, like three more I'm episodes of this. I say let him run free. I, yeah, I really, oh. What? Oh, so how about let's not free the goat. How about we keep Dustin and Dustin's mom in our room and the goat in here so none of the animals get titchlinged. Okay, that's fair. Should we retie the goat? No, retie don't the goat. retie the goat. Retie the goat? Okay, don't retie the goat. I don't know. It wants the think... rope back. What if this I, is the I big decision that ruins everything? It. It's the I don't goat think man. the greenhouse is going to protect it from ditchlings. We already know. saw there are holes. Yeah, there are panes of broken glass. It can run out if it needs to. Okay. Probably wouldn't leave, leave if we you. told it it was free either. Guess I'll leave you to it then. I guess. Guess I'll leave you to it then. Sure, suit yourselves. More space for me. And close the door on the way out, will ya? It's nippy out there. Close the door. <laughs> Dear God, close the yeah, door. close the door on the way out. Close the door behind you and reapply the lock. Your cousin will be none the wiser about your little excursion. 
So like That's absolutely What was the point? Well we needed to figure it out. Head back to the estate. The goat needs to run, the goat can smash the glass. Damn right. You've investigated the garden. With Stella missing, it's best not to keep Kanika waiting for you much longer. PB and J. Let's yeah, we gotta fuel up. Let's do this. If Stella's MIA, who knows when you'll get the chance to eat? You make yourself a PB and J in anticipation for the long day ahead of you. Hooey! And that's that. Yeah. Head to town. It's time to head to town. Here we go. You head to the front door and begin your trek to the town below. Oh, do we have to go through the keep going things? <laughs> Well, that's ah. not terrifying One, at all. Two, three, four, five. Uh. That might just be a leaf. No, I don't think that's a leaf. The sun shines down through a thin layer of clouds, illuminating the path in a watery gray light. You can't help but feel countless eyes watching you from the tree line, a feeling that you reminds you of your time in the woods with Stella. Ditchlings shouldn't be out in the middle of the day, though. They're getting bolder. Ah! Avery! Oh! To your surprise, you find a familiar face making its way up the path towards you. Hello. Hey, I was coming to see you. Hope you were able to get some sleep after everything that happened last night. And I hope Tabitha's got some rest too. How is she today? She's back at work already, with, what with the strike and all. I wish... She hadn't stopped me. I feel so bad for her. She paid a long overdue debt. She deserves the consequences. Ugh. If I hadn't stepped forward, she wouldn't have intervened. We both could have made it out of there in one piece. I can't believe how unfair that whole thing was. Neither of us should have taken on that kind of burden. Yeah. You know what? There's a lot of choices here, and I think we're going to have to make that decision next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon for notifications. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, and feel free to check out some of our other gaming videos, our weekly podcast, Anime Yay or Nay, or our parody series, Madoka Magically Abridged. See you next time!